Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Bolton Wanderers vlog. Looking forward to this. Now they remind me of us but slightly better. Well a little well, a lot better in my opinion. Um they don't score many goals, they don't concede many goals, hard to beat but don't always have that clinical edge to win a game of football. Now, last year they did really well to finish in the top nine, the top ten. Um, you know, they had 73 points, I think, in the end of the end of the year. Normally that's four or five points off the playoffs. Obviously, being last year, it was so far off the playoffs, but a good first season for Ian Everett's men. They've travelled well, they'll always sell out at Fleetwood. Um, you know, good support, you know, good team. I'm looking forward to see how they set up today. Obviously, they've got some good players, Alpha Lions, um, Dion Charles, Bord Valsons, you know, obviously uh, Trafford in goal, in my, in my opinion, one of the best goalkeepers at this level as well. So, you know, got fun memories of playing Bolton last year. We did, uh, we beat them 3-0 and obviously stayed up on the last day of the season. We both play a back three. We both play with attacking wing backs. They play with Jack Idale uh, and Connor Bradley, who for me are two very good fullbacks. I rated Idale at, at Cambridge. He was a really early sign for me, signing about May time. And I said at the time it could be one of the best signs in League One. Connor Bradley on loan from Liverpool. Now there's been rumours that he's going to go back and go back and compete for a place at Preston in the Championship. For me, I think that he should stay in League One and get regular games under his belt and have a look in the summer because... Bolton Wanderers could easily end up in the championship with a good run. They don't score many goals like Fleetwood. They like to draw a game like Fleetwood. So I don't know where today's going to go. We've drawn 10 out of 18 games. We've only won four, only lost four. So for every negative you could throw at Fleetwood this year, you could throw a positive back out there as well. Chris, how are you doing? Make short journey uh, from Bolton today. Yeah. Tough game. Can, mm. We are very similar. I've said that quite often. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you're what, right. What's the thoughts on today's game? Well, you know what I mean. I was saying to you before, we've we've come into a good number of away games with expectation, yeah. and it, it's just not materialised. So Cheltenham, Forest Green, being case in point, we had a bit of an upturn at Accrington, but overall, we just seem to have this fear, this tip, this kind of like apprehension about coming to smaller, tighter grounds. We can't play our expansive football. Just get on with it. Yeah. And Doppa, obviously, uh, been doing a little work with Fleetwood lately as well. Yeah. Good work as well. So go over to the Fleetwood socials and have a little look. What's your thoughts on today's game? Obviously, you've seen Fleetwood a little bit this year. We've only won four, only lost four. A lot of draws, which means hard to beat. Maybe not quite good enough to win more games, but not bad enough to lose more games. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, the, the draw specialist Fleetwood this season, from what I've seen, I've only sort of covered a few games for them this season but they seem to do well against the team sort of higher up the league yeah. as well obviously Bolton being one of those they're sort of pushing towards the playoffs um, it's really difficult to call annoyingly I think it could be another draw maybe two maybe two two yeah, last yeah. season you improved from January onwards yeah the kind of thing if we get to January just maybe three I, points outside the playoffs yeah we've got a chance it was um I mean, the last two seasons where we've had this kind of January bump yeah. from the transfer window, the, the yeah, we've been we've been mid table, yeah. near bottom of the table when we were in League Two, and we've gone on these amazing runs, as you say, and we've done some really good business in January. I think a lot of it's planning. So yeah. Chris Markham, technical director, ex England and whatnot, he's got a good footballing brain. The planning's there, and, he plan and the planning's typically good. So I think we're hanging on to the fact that we're there or thereabouts yeah. and then we can have that January kick. That's the plan. But can we do it three seasons on the bounce? <sighs> Takes some doing. Where do you think Fleetwood will finish and where do you think Bolton will finish? Because I think Bolton will get stronger as the season goes on and I think Fleet will be pretty much win, draw, lose, win, draw, lose kind of thing. Well, as you, as you said before, they play great stuff. Scott Brown's got them playing some brilliant football, much improved on what I heard was last season. Yeah. Um, to be honest, if I were to predict, I don't really like making predictions, but honestly, a top 10 finish for Fleetwood, I think, be would be a good. very successful season. Um, obviously, still in the Cups as well, in the FA yeah. Cup. Um, so, so around pending, hopefully, as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they've got a good tie in that. So, that could be something to look for, potential Cup run. Uh, Bolton, I think they'll be really looking, yeah. they'll be looking at automatics, if not going up via the playoffs. So... If I had to say a position, I'd probably see them finishing about third or fourth.
or well, eight minutes in and nothing really happened so far kind of been a flat game by that chance from Owen Beck in the first couple of minutes which should be burying it's a good opportunity that they're making they'll make a couple more during the game more than a couple of amazing runs up and able to make much from it but it's an okay start kind of build on the from there. Moments that they've, got. they've had chance in this game. They probably had six or seven where they should have scored at least one. And that's why they're not in the players. That's why they're one of the lowest goal scorers in the league. Because they can't finish chances like that. Josh here, the former Newport man, comes on for Katunga. My opinion, one of the worst players on the pitch today. Nice turn. Otto. And he's put away, finally, finally. It's a really, really good finish. Really good ball in, bolting on the march. They're going to go for a second and now we're holding on for a pointer. Again, holding on, sitting on for 45 minutes does not work. It's the third game in four or five games that's happened. Barb Ralston really did a lot to go, hold the ball up, 
and kind of started the move off, really good striker's link up. A lot of our kind of attacking players could learn a lot. I just don't get it how you can't see that they're coming at you, they're going to score eventually with those chances. And then big Peggy Lane on as soon as they do with two and a half minutes to go. Every game happens. There's something, I, I don't know, there's something not quite right here. It's a good point, but one nil up for so long. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. Boy, oh boy. togetherness of that squad by the way Trafford running running to the to the management team all running together kind of running to the fans that's what we call football commitment for an away day I saw it last week and I've just seen had to witness against us again today no words for a man that speaks a lot of him well done honestly well done I really like that for line getting the goal. Really good finish. Only one goal in his first long spell. Back in, back in that Bolton permanently now. Great, great finish. And he won the game from it. Well, it's Dapo off the line with the finish. It's a really good ball. He fished it. And his instinct, his kind of experience he's built up at the Bolton over the last 100, 100 odd games or so he's played for him. So hard to take. Lindsay that away and it, I don't like football. I really don't. It, it sucks. It really does. And hearing them saying him, so again, you, to, you know it's always going to come, hurts even more. And you just got to kind of take your hat off to them and say they were the better side, second half, the better chances, and they've won the game. Well, I already know Bolton fans are going to click that and love that. If I was a Bolton fan, I'd love it, but. Trafford is a good goalkeeper and you've just won in the last minute, there's no problem with that. Um, hard to take, very hard to take. Second half we weren't good enough. Uh, we didn't take those, get chances, we didn't kind of sting their play and deserve to kind of lose the game in the end. I just don't know how we know how to win games at this moment. If you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. We are on the road to 10k, it's free to do so, we're only 150 off or so. Until next time, I'll see you later, up the cards.